Hello everyone. Today we will discuss um, inguinal ligament, lacunar ligament and pectineal ligament. So just to know a few bony points before we discuss these uh, ligaments. Uh, here we have the anterior superior iliac spine. This point here, this is the anterior superior iliac spine and here we have the pubic tubercle. Medial to this pubic tubercle, we will have the pubic crest and this part is called the pubic symphysis. So anterior superior iliac spine, the pubic tubercle, pubic symphysis. The three points please remember. Now here we see the external oblique muscle, the external oblique muscle which is the muscle of the anterior abdominal wall. So exter external oblique muscle along with its aponeurosis. This whitish part that you see that is the uh, aponeurosis and this is the external oblique muscle. This is a um, sagittal section through the anterior abdominal wall here. So what you see here is the skin, the superficial fascia, then we have this external oblique muscle and lower down as we go down here we have the aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle, then we have the internal oblique, the transversus abdominis and medial to that, deeper to that we have the transversalis fascia. Now inguinal ligament which is also called as Poupart's ligament. How it is formed? It is formed by the free lower border of the aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle. So as we said, this is the external oblique muscle with its aponeurosis. So the lower free border of the aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle gets thickened and it folds back on itself. It folds back on itself to form the inguinal ligament. So it extends from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle. If we see this diagram here, this is the external oblique muscle in the sagittal section and we have the uh, aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle, the free lower border of it of this aponeurosis thickens and it folds on itself and forms the inguinal ligament. So this is uh, inguinal ligament which is also called as Poupart's ligament. So remember this name Poupart's ligament. So in this picture what you see here the ligament which is extending from the anterior superior iliac spine up to the pubic tubercle is the inguinal ligament. Now there are two things midpoint of inguinal ligament and mid inguinal point. Midpoint of inguinal ligament is still simple that it is the if this is the mid uh, this is the inguinal ligament the midpoint of that is the midpoint of inguinal ligament. Now what is mid inguinal point? If we take two points, the anterior superior leg spine and the pubic symphysis, we draw a line joining these two points and the midpoint of this line will be the mid inguinal point. So mid inguinal point lies midway between the anterior superior leg spine and the pubic symphysis. So deep to this midpoint of inguinal ligament we have the femoral nerve and deeper to this, deep to this uh, mid inguinal point we have the femoral artery. So if we want to palpate the fem femoral artery, uh, go to the mid inguinal point and you will feel the pulsations of the femoral artery and we know that femoral vein lies medial to this femoral artery. So if, if any procedures are to be done on the any of these vessels, we know where to look for these vessels. Next is the lacunar ligament. Now it is also called as Gimbernat's ligament. So if we see this picture here and we enlarge it. So we have the inguinal ligament here. This from the anterior superior iliac spine here to the pubic tubercle we have the inguinal ligament. Now on the inner surface of this inguinal ligament, the, this inguinal ligament extends onto the pectin pubis and this triangular ligament which is here which will be formed will be the lacunar ligament. It forms one of the boundaries or, or uh, the medial boundary of the femoral ring. So this is the lacunar ligament. 
so what is lat lacunar ligament lateral to the pubic tubercle the deep surface of the inguinal ligament extends posteriorly to be attached to the pectin pubis so it extends posteriorly to be attached to the pectin pubis and this triangular ligament is called lacunar ligament or gibbernet's ligament and it forms the boundary medial boundary of the femoral ring and through the femoral ring uh, the uh, femoral hernia can occur so to reduce that we may have to cut the lacunar ligament so that is why it is important to know the lacunar ligament and sometimes an abnormal obturator artery may be present in this region so we have to be careful about that also so this was about the lacunar ligament now here this bone in red this is the pubic bone okay and on the pubic bone where this red line that you can see that's the pectin pubis so pectineal ligament what is pectineal ligament it is an extension from the posterior part of the base of the lacunar ligament so we had the lacunar ligament in this region so an extension from the posterior part of the base of the lacunar ligament onto the pectin pubis is called the pectineal ligament or ligament of cooper so here we have the inguinal ligament extending from the anterior superior iliac spine up to the pubic tubercle and we have the lacunar ligament here we have this extension of the inner surface of the inguinal ligament onto the pectin pubis so that is called the lacunar ligament this whitish area triangular area that you can see here is the lacunar ligament and extension of this onto the pectin pubis posteriorly is the pectineal ligament or ligament of cooper so what was the other name for this uh, inguinal ligament it was poupart's ligament another name for the lacunar ligament is gimbernat's ligament and another name for the pectineal ligament is ligament of cooper so these three ligaments we have uh, discussed now here you can see the inguinal ligament and the what you see here is the abdominal aorta dividing into the two common iliacs and then dividing into external and the internal iliac artery this external iliac artery will continue down as the femoral artery so if we want to find the femoral artery we have to look for the mid inguinal point so mid inguinal point is what from the anterior superior iliac spine up to the pubic symphysis and then take a midpoint of that line and that's the mid inguinal point and if we palpate in that region we will feel the pulsations of the femoral artery so that's how you will look for the femoral artery in this region then we can see in this picture the lumbar plexus here this is the lumbar plexus and then lower down we have the sacral plexus so the nerves are coming out from this and the nerve which is coming down here is the femoral nerve it is passing deep to this inguinal ligament and lateral to the femoral artery femoral artery was present in this region here at the mid inguinal point and just lateral to that will be the femoral nerve and this is at the midpoint of inguinal ligament so that's all about those ligaments this is a small flower from my garden thank you thank you for listening